does the Tetrarch look at me all the while with his mole's eyes under his shaking eyelids? It is not right that the husband of my mother should look at me like that. I wonder what it means. And yet, I do not wonder. I know. Who is that who cried out? The prophet, princess. Ah, the prophet? He of whom the Tetrarch is afraid? Rejoice not, O land of Palestine, for the rod of him who smote thee is broken. For from the seed of the serpent shall come a basilisk, and that which is born of it shall devour the birds. What a strange voice. I would speak with him. That is impossible, princess. The Tetrarch does not allow any to speak with him. He even forbids the high priest to speak with him. I desire to speak with him. It is impossible, princess. I will speak with him. Would it not be better for you to return to the banquet? Breathe, boy, this prophet! You will do this thing for me, Naraboth. You know you will. I know you will. Who is this woman who is looking at me? Wherefore does she look at me with her golden eyes and her gilded eyelids? I know not who she is. I do not desire to know who she is. Bid her be gone. It is not to her that I would speak. I am Salome. Daughter of Babylon, come not near the chosen of the Lord. Thy mother hath filled the earth with the wine of her iniquities, and the cry of her sinning hath come up even unto the ears of God. Speak again, Yohanan. Your voice sets me on fire. Angel of the Lord God, what dost thou hear with thy sword? Whom seekest thou in this palace? Your body is white like the lilies of a field that have never felt the reaper's sight. Your body is white like the snows that lie in the mountains of Judea and come down into the valleys. The roses in the garden of the Queen of Arabia are not so white as your body, nor the breast of the moon when she lies on the breast of the sea. There is nothing in the world so white as your body. Suffer me to touch your body. Back! Daughter of Babylon! Oh, your body is hideous! It is like the body of a leper! It is like the plastered walls where the vipers have crawled! Like the plastered walls where the scorpions have made their nest! It is like a whited sepulcher full of loathsome things! It is horrible! Your body is horrible! It is of your hair that I am enamored, your Kanahan. Your hair is like clusters of grapes, like clusters of black grapes. Your hair is like the cedars of Lebanon, like the great cedars of Lebanon that would give their shade to the lions and to the robbers who would seek to hide themselves by day. 
the long black nights when the moon hides her face and the stars are afraid to be seen are not so black as your hair. The silence that dwells in the forest is not so black. There is nothing in the world so black as your hair. Suffer me to touch your hair. Back! Daughter of Sodom, touch me not, profane not, the temple of the Lord God. Your hair is horrible! It is covered with mud and dust. It is like a crown of thorns placed upon your head. It is like a knot of serpents coiled around your neck. I love not your hair. It is your mouth. I desire your Kanahan. Your mouth is like a band of scarlet placed upon a tower of ivory. It is like a pomegranate cut in twain with a knife of ivory. Your mouth is redder than the feet of those who tread wine in the wine presses. It is redder than the feet of a hunter returning from a forest where he has slain a lion and seen gilded tigers. Your mouth is like a branch of coral that the fishes have found in the twilight of the sea. There is nothing in the world so red as your mouth. Suffer me to kiss your mouth. Never! Daughter of Babylon, daughter of Sodom, daughter of adultery, there is but one who can save thee. It is he of whom I speak. Go seek him. He is on a boat in the Sea of Galilee, and he talketh with his disciples. Kneel down on the shore of the sea, and call unto him by his name, when he cometh to thee. And to all who call on him, he cometh. Bow thyself at his feet, and ask of him the remission of thy sins. Suffer me to kiss your mouth. Curse be thou, daughter of an incestuous mother. Be thou a curse. of your little teeth. Bite but a little of this fruit, that I may eat what is left. 
I am not hungry, Tetrarch. Salome, daughter of Herodias, dance for me. Leave her alone. I command you to dance, Salome. I will not dance, Tetrarch. You see how she obeys you. Never has he spoken word against me, this prophet. Say that I sin in taking the wife, the wife of my brother. It may be that he is right, for of a truth you are sterile. I am sterile? I? You say that. You that are always looking at my daughter. You that would have her dance for your pleasure. You speak as a fool. I have born a child. You have got no child. No, not even by one of your slaves. It is you who are sterile the for Silence! Woman, I tell you that you are sterile. You have born me no child. Also, this prophet says that our marriage is not a true marriage. He says that it is a marriage of incest. A marriage that will bring evils. I fear that he is right. I am sure that he is right. Death for me. Tell me, I pray you, if you dance for me, you may ask of me anything that you desire, and I will give it to you. Yes, Salome, dance for me, and whatsoever you shall ask of me, I will give it to you. Even none to the half of my kingdom. Dance, Salome, dance for me.
You were the only man that I ever loved. All other men filled me with disgust. But you were beautiful. Your body was a column of ivory set upon feet of silver. It was a garden full of doves and lilies of silver. It was a tower of silver decked with shields of ivory. There was nothing in the world so white as your body. Nothing in the world so black as your hair. In the whole world, there was nothing so red as your mouth. Your voice was a censer that scattered strange perfumes. And when I looked on you, I heard a strange music. She is monstrous, your daughter. <laughs>